Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to Temple Talk Thursdays. We're here every Thursday at 1230 Eastern Standard Time, and we have real talk. We also have some amazing guests sometimes, and we all talk with just women together. We get together and we talk about health, real world issues that we got to go through, and, you know, mompreneurs, all that good stuff. We talk here, and I am Kat Pons. If this is your first time, please let me know down below so I can properly welcome you. And if you're catching the replay, by all means, let me know so I can probably thank you as prop, uh, thank you as well. Hey, I see you, Kimani. Thank you for joining us. Hey, sissy, how you doing? Much prayer for Callie, and I'm, I'm so excited, and a lady that she's doing well. So again, my name is Kat Pons. I am the restoration coach here at Restoration From Within. I work with women who want to go back to an overall healthy place for themselves personally, for their families, but most importantly, for God. So I'm here today and I have a special guest. And today, um, the topic is because it takes a village. I'm telling you, it takes a village. Whether you are um, you are in a household. Hey, Barry, how you doing? Thanks for the love. Whether you are a household. Um, give me some thumbs up if you understand this. Whether you are a household of, two, of a two-parent household or a one-parent household or blended or even grandparents um, raising or guardians raising kids, it takes a village, right? Give me some thumbs up. I know it is. It definitely takes a village to take care of children, but not also to um, take care of yourself. Hey, um, hey, Simone, how you doing? Um, thank you. In just one second, I'm going to invite you in. So um, it not only takes a village, but it also takes, you know, it takes that to help you and, and help you uh, deal with the issues of life, right? Because it, like I said before, it takes a village. So definitely. So my guest here today, Simone Baldwin with Sila uh, Dance Studio is going to be joining us. So I'm going to invite her in here for in a few minutes and we're going to do it. Hey, Anissa, how you doing, mommy? I love you. I'm so proud of you, what you're doing. So this, um, this topic is going to be good for you too. We're talking about that it takes a village to raise children and also for our health as well, for our women's health as well. So um, if you can't catch the replay or join us so definitely here i am hey sincera how you doing we're going to have our guest here in a few minutes she's coming in hey modi how you doing hi sincera hey lady hey 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 how you doing so i was just formally introducing i'm good you. how are you i'm doing well um so uh with our guest today, we're going to talk about how it takes a village and how she's part of my village. Long story short, I had the pleasure to meet uh, Simone, and we became uh, quick friends, and that has grown into us. Also, um, she's been she's a, one of the integral parts of my village. How is that? Because she helps me to pour into my children. She um, keeps me right. You know, she checks me when she has to because she's not only my um, friend, and um, she's part of my village. She's my sister. A sister in Christ, and I love her to life, and um, and I'm here to introduce her to the world so that you can see the importance of why it takes a village. Because it takes a village. Hey, Natro, how you doing? All my mamas joining in. Y'all gonna love this. I'm telling you. So, um, Simone is gonna talk about how she has. Um, well, I'm gonna. I've said how she's made an impact in my family, but she's also gonna talk about how she's made an impact in the community as well to other girls. So, um, I'm gonna introduce her. The, 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 the drum roll, please. Look at my drum rolls. They suck, right? The, 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 the drum roll, please. The Simone Baldwin with Sila Dance Studio. Whoop. Yes. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Hey, everybody. So, so, Simone, tell me. Um, well, uh, tell me. What, why, why do you, the first, before you introduce Sila Dance Studio, why do you feel that it takes a village to raise a child? Well, you can't do it by yourself. No one can do it by themselves. Everyone um, needs help in some capacity. Um, when you have a village, um, there are strengths in everyone. Where one is weak, another is strong. Yes. Um, when mommy and daddy is tired, you got your auntie Simone's in Thank that comes you. and step in. <laughs> you know, so you you need that village also to just give relief to the parents. And where mommy or daddy needs help with reinforcing something, yes. that's where your village comes in. Because sometimes, you know, mommy and daddy says what they say to the children. Mm -hmm. And they're just not hearing. It go from it's one not making to the other, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you'll have a friend, a villager to come in and reinforce it in a different way. Yes. 
and it's like they're hearing it for the first time. Yes, that's so true story. That, <laughs> true story, yeah. right, Moni? Yes. <laughs> when I'm yes. Like, yes. Get their life right, but I can tell them, and it don't make sense at all. It's falling on deaf deaf ears. However, Auntie Moni say it, they line up like this. They be like, "Oh, Auntie Listen. Moni." Listen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, so with that being said, and I thank you so much for being part of my village. And I just wanted to share you to the world, sis, because I know that you're not only just doing that for me, but your heart is for other young girls or people yeah. with artistic capabilities, even young boys or, or adult yeah. men who want to know the art, artistic flow, right? So tell me, what, yeah. what's the um, model of Sila Dance Studio? Well, Sailor Dance Studio is just a place where freedom of movement meets technique and discipline to bring a beautiful fusion of artistry. So it's a happy space. It's a free space. It's a, it's a safe zone where kids um, and adults can come and learn um, basic ballet technique. That's the base that we teach, but then we, we develop them and teach them modern and hip hop, jazz, um, expressive movement for the little, little ones. Um, that's what we do there. So it's just a form for them to be creative and dance. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's a space where we want to hone in that energy. Yeah. They're coming there on 10 and we yes. want to, you know, I, I respect and I love all arts, all forms of dance. I really do, but I really want them to understand the classical form of dance, okay. the art of it the technical aspect of it, because so many kids see what they see on TV, right? Mm -hmm. We all know those new shows that are online, and I love them. I'm a, I'm a fan. I watch those shows. But they see the performance side. Okay. They don't see what, what it took that kid their age to get to that level of excellence. Mm. So when they see those kids dropping it like it's hot, when they see those kids doing that kick all up in the air and doing all those fantastic, beautiful movement, they don't realize that to get to that level, of freedom and dance. They had to learn something. Even your most abstract dancer had that base of ballet. Your football players, that's their they they learn ballet. Wow, that's, so yeah, I that's amazing. That's good. You know, so they can be agile, they can be light on their feet and all of those things. So there's there's always a base of training before they, they develop and go off and do other tangents of dance. And my heart is that they learn that. They learn dance history know who Alvin Ailey is, know who Judith Jameson is, know who Misty Copeland is, who Barishnikov is, you know, Debbie yeah. Allen, um, all these beautiful dancers who I looked up to growing up, I want them to also um, know who those individuals are. So at Stela, we teach them technique, we teach them dance history, so they're just not knowing choreography, so that when they go home, when they leave the studio, they're getting a dance education, not just movement. Exactly. They're getting a whole bit. And I like that because um, the arts is being lost in, in the school system. You know, that's something that um, it literally has to be an extracurricular, um, uh, I guess, activity outside of the school. And it's unfortunate because I, I personally believe that creative arts, whether it's dancing or whatever form is it that you, um, that you find it to do, um, it enhances the mind and the capability of the child, you know. Um, it, it, yeah. it, um, it helps them balance the mindset also, not just using the thinking side of their brain, because they are with the technicality and the agility Absolutely. and the learning and the educational portion, but they're also increasing their, um, hey, Lynette, how you doing? They're also increasing their creativ creativity side. So it's a, it's a great yeah. balance that it's not only it just, is. Um, producing a healthy lifestyle for them as well, because it's, it's helping their bodies. Like you said, they're on 10. I love it when, I love when Saturdays come. Saturdays is a great day Listen. for at Casa de Pons, you know, <laughs> because they leave on 10 and they're like probably, you know, cause their agility, they're probably at an eight or seven, you know, because you have honed them in. They love what they do and they do it here. They practice it here. And, and it's, and even the, um, it's not just those skills that I've also seen. I've seen um, leadership capabilities. I've seen teamwork. Yeah. I've also seen mm -hmm. um, their self-esteem have risen a lot more in, in their ability to, you know, like to even want to dance. You know, like Kyrie yeah. was very shy. Now she's all out yeah. there. Tierra, listen. Listen. T you know Tierra. That's my little name. alpha chick. Yes, that's the alpha. She is, I mean, she owns it. And before she would have some type of level of insecurity, but now she just owns it. And I think 
God for you in that portion because you have promoted that in in that. And so um, mm. I, I think you already spoken a little bit about it, but I want you to go in depth as far as um, why is it that you're so passionate about pouring into these girls and future boys and 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 women who come and join the Sila Dance Studio. It's also about learning your purpose in different avenues and how to just be excellent. You know, I had that, that teaching growing up and I don't know what goes on in every child's life outside of the mm -hmm. studio, but I'm just trying to make it my mission that when they come in those four walls with me, yeah, I'm going to make them yeah. know that they're excellent. They're going to know affirmations. They're going to know that the word can't is a forbidden word in that studio. If Come you on, say yeah. it, where we had a problem, you know, mm -hmm. we, we have a can-do attitude. So it's important for me to know that these little people are self-aware, um, that they love themselves, that they're not bullies, that they're leaders, mm -hmm. that they pull, that they want to pull leadership out of their peers. Um, so with doing that, even in the studio, I have junior teachers, little leaders who will assist with leading the class so that if I see a kid who has a natural ability of wanting to speak over me, instead of me being upset about it, let me put them in a position of assistance. Let Come me hone that natural abil ability of wanting to lead and teach and give them the opportunity to do so. So I'll put them in a, in a role of leading, you know, moving across the floor, doing something to, to let them stand out and exercise that energy that they have of leadership. So it's just really important for me for them to just come into the studio and leave better than they came. I want them to know that, you know, if they're shy, it's okay to be shy because that's, that's who you are, but don't be introverted to the point where you feel like you're being hindered, that you don't, if you want to, if you want to express, this is a safe zone to do that. I like and that. And I think by me being animated, <laughs> they look forward to being super animated it gives them the okay to be animated if they're feeling animated. That's good. They know that I don't get down with the playing. They know I don't get down with the laughing at each other. You know, if we don't, we don't, we don't joke. If someone messes up or, and whatever in the class, mm -hmm. we don't tolerate, you know, laughter, snickering at anyone. It's, it's a total safe zone there. So it's important for me to just edify these young people um, love them up real good, that good heart love. Um, I've, I've received feedback from some of the parents on some of the kids who've been with me a couple of years, how they were super shy. And you know, you've seen a couple of them, but now they're just totally opened up. Expressing so I'm like, themselves okay. and everything. Yes, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like my job is being, and my job is being done. And that in turn is helping me really hone and discover my purpose, really walk in my purpose as well. I, and you know what? And I like that. I like that you say that. And I love the fact that you focus really on the environment. It's not just you teaching, but you're also focusing on the environment and making it a safe yeah. zone area. Because um, in mm -hmm. a lot of places, we have to show up and wear a mask. You're teaching the kids that, that you don't have to, you know, you, you let all that down. There's no judgment here. Yeah. There's going to be mm -hmm. um, a perfection in who you are you know, not even perfection, but just like the edification of who you are and the true you coming out, mm -hmm. but it's a safe place for them to, um, to explore. And I love that. I really, I yeah. really love that about you because, um, trust me, um, I'm one of those moms that like, okay, I need to see A through Z, you know, like I want to see what's mm -hmm. going on, but you have, I, I can say securely in my heart, that when my children are with you, you know, because um, I had an issue with them. I'm not going to lie. I was like, hey, parents can't be there. But I saw the psychology behind why the parent can't be there. Because we're trying to develop mm -hmm. those children at that moment so mm -hmm. that they can be edified into who they want to be. That allows you the open door to pour into them in those areas instead of having yeah. the parent to be there where the parent ex has a certain expectation of the child or the mindset of the child feels like they have a certain expectation so they won't be able to be who they want to be or who you know like that right. that true the, the true selves will come out so i really appreciate that i i'm trust me when i tell you i appreciate that so without further ado i want you to share with the audience you know those who are catching us live thank you so much hit them hearts um um, definitely. Oh, we have a question. Hold on. Lynette is saying, how do we help a child who is an extrovert, but doesn't like to be in the spotlight? 
hold on a second, when it's time to perform? That's a good question. How do I help them with that? Yes. How do I help them with that? Well, I let them know that, well, initially I let the child know that performance is a, is, it's fun. It's, it's great to do. You want to showcase, right? But I also try and help the child understand why they're dancing. So I always ask the kids, why are you here? Why do you want to dance? So they'll give me their answer. And based off of their answer, that's how I'll individually instruct that child. Um, if a child is an good. extrovert, if the child is normally an extrovert and then you put them on to perform, it's how you do it. It has to be, you can't, it can't be a, a, a space where you put the child on spot. For example, if the parents are having a party and you know how we used to do, you know, like, come on, little Jimmy, you know, come on, do that thing for me real quick. Mm -hmm. No, you have to usher them into that thing. Mm, you have good. to usher them into that thing. You know that you're going to ask that child to dance mm -hmm. in front of whoever or whatever. Have that conversation before. And if you need to entice them with a treat or a reward as a result of their thing, of their, their, of their talent, then you need to do that. But you can't spring it on a child. Okay. You can't do that. That's you have to good. usher them into it. That's really good. That's really good. You have, to, uh, you have to prepare them for that performance. You can't just say do it and they won't, they won't do it. Most, he, most adults won't. So you really can't expect a child to do that. You have to usher them in and make them feel comfortable in what they're about to do because then they'll be cold. You want them to go into it warm and ready. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we have another question. Adrian Davis. Hey, Adrian, do you have classes for older children and adults? Oh, that's the what we're coming into. What are the classes that you offer at Sila Dance Studio? Awesome. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. We do. We do. We do. We do. We start at age three. We go up until 99 or 100. We do <laughs> teach for all. Yes. Um, we have an actual class schedule right now for kids up to 18. Um, adult classes will be incorporated throughout the season. We have an adult class in September. September 15th is an adult jazz class. It's going to be a little sassy, a little smooth groove. Um, that's going to be added onto the program. But normally, right now, we have expressive movement, which is ages three to six, um, boys and girls. And they're being taught the basic fundamentals of ballet, choreography, and terminology. That's a 30-minute class because you can't keep that age group too long. Their attention span is quite limited. We also have youth ballet, um, and we have urban fusion. Urban okay. fusion <laughs> is... Yeah, man. <laughs> Urban Fusion is a mixture of hip hop, jazz, and modern. I want them to have a little bit of everything. So they that's a jam packed class. It's not it's not a lot of room for um for, for lagging. And of course the ballet class is is just that. So we go from ages three to eighteen right now as far as kids. Um adults are welcome. We have private classes that I um, book for adults that may want a one-on-one -on -one type of situation, but throughout the year, like last year, we're going to have um, classes for adults. Um, guest choreographers come in to do special workshops and different intensive, um, but the first one will kick off September 15th with yours truly Yay! doing a uh, modern jazz class, um, primarily for the ladies, because that's who's been asking. I haven't received any um, privates <laughs> for the gentlemen. And I don't quite think that they would, but uh, right now we just have it for the ladies, for the adults right now. Okay. Awesome. So call me or reach out to the studio um, to book your session. Okay. And what's the number that they can reach you at? That is area code 843-324-7222. 843-324-7222. Seven two two two. Seven two two two. Okay, I'm just putting it up on the comment section. Okay. Thank you. So my next question is, um, I know that you um, you have a heart for the community as well, and um, what is your mission? What's the mission for um, Sila? What's uh, for in the future or near future? What's the mission for Sila Dance? As we as we grow, as we grow, we're going to do increased scholarships. Um, for the kids in the community. Right now, we have currently um, three students on scholarship. Um, my ultimate hope 
is that it would turn to where all the students would have the opportunity to just come on a scholarship basis where we'll have a grant um, given for the studio so that would support all the functions of the studio so that it can get um, reverted to just be grant funded and we would just offer scholarship to the students and then they would enroll by an audition process. And that audition process hopefully will be consistent of their grades at school as well as their audition um, at um, Sailor Dance Studio. Okay, so uh, long term, doing this we wanted to. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes, we have three. We have three scholarship students right now. And um, as we grow, we'll increase more. Okay, no, definitely. And I like that, because that you're starting where you are, you're using what you have and doing what you can to, to continue to, right. to make an impact in the community as well. You Absolutely. Know, whether it's Absolutely. by scholarship or, you know, paid for students. So definitely, I'm excited about this. Did I cover everything? Oh, Lynette said, how can we be a blessing towards scholarships? Isn't that a great question? I know. Um, <laughs> reach out to me. And um, we can, um, I would love to be able to do an audition process um, to award a child with a, a scholarship. Um, there is criteria for that scholarship. Grades is very important for me. Even throughout the year, I look at grades. I wanna see what those grades are. And if those grades are not where they need to be, I do work with the parents to make sure, hey, let's have that conversation, kid. And what do we need to do? Where's your problem of um, need? Mm -hmm. and where do we need to develop so um definitely you can reach out to me and we can have that conversation um donations would be great you can want to sponsor a child type of thing we can do that um but i would love to have an audition process for a for future um scholarship students because i want them to work for that scholarship yeah. not just be handed that scholarship but i want that student to be actively involved as well in um, receiving that scholarship so that they'll just appreciate what they're going to receive once they um, become a student at Sela Dance Studio. Yes, definitely. And I agree 100%. Um, one of the things that I've learned in um, when, uh, as far as being a blessing, you know, it's not the mindset of giving a hand out, but a hand up, you know, and that's, Absolutely. And that's the process of, of what it is, even for scholarships. So definitely we have a question. Well, we have a statement. Sincera, the, the beautiful Sincera is saying, love the concept. How can those not in the area support CELA, specifically the grants and scholarship, uh, the scholarships and grants? So that's two questions already for the scholarships and grants. So um, I, I personally know that you, uh, that you can do the cash app if possible. So if anybody wanted to donate towards that, they can do your cash app or connect with you, like you said, and see what, you know, how yes. they can donate. Definitely. My email address also is Simone at Sela Dance Studio SC dot com. Reach out to me that way. I'm writing it down. Simone, can you say it again? Thank you, sis. Simone at Sela Dance Studio SC dot com. To learn more of scholarships. Man, look at look at how God is already working. Look how God is working. And um, what? And before we're going to wrap this up with my last question, why? Why did you choose to promote? Um, you know, because there's you can just like say that you you know you made it a point to state in in your logo that you are a Christian based uh, dance studio. Why did you choose that? Mm. It's my responsibility to be conducive and to have an overall moral compass of my current lifestyle. It would be remiss if I entertained anything other than how I live outside of that studio. Mm. So how I am in the studio is what you get out on the outside. Do I like to listen to Sade? Yes. Do I like to listen to certain secular music? Yes. However, if that music is played in the studio, it's the clean content. Yeah. I'm very specific on what music is going into the, the ear gate of those babies. That's my responsibility, right? Yes. So that's 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 my moral compass, even outside. I mean, I love music, I, I listen to it all, but my responsibility is when I open up that, <laughs> that music box, that these kids are not being negatively affected because music is music. Music mm -hmm. make you feel a certain way. Music yes. 
to move a certain way. Come on now. We know what to do, right? Yes. So mm-hmm. I don't want to have any sort of a negative impact on their lives to make them go outside of the will of God in their lives. That's, man, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's my responsibility. Wow. So, yes, they'll tell me who they like. They already, t- they already told me. They like Rihanna. They like Cardi B. They love all this great stuff all these wonderful artists right but i have to find a happy medium to give them um fun movement fun music a fun experience but still keeping them in the in the moral compass of of of, of simone and what i stand for i love that so since sarah is also yeah. asking another question does sila have a meaning does the word sila have a yes. meaning <laughs> it does. It does. It means to pause. It means to reflect. And it just means to just take a minute. So for me, for me, in naming the studio Sela, everyone who knows me knows that is, that is also the name of my dog. <laughs> but um, in, in the realm of, of naming the studio, what does dance mean for me? What does artistry mean for me? Mm-hmm. It puts me in the space of, of um, relaxation. It makes me meditate. It makes mm-hmm. me pause. It makes me reflect. Wow. So I wanted a simple name that would um, explain to anyone who saw the studio what, what I was about without being so wordy. Wow. So Sela, it means to pause. It means to reflect. It means to ponder. So that's what dance does for me. When I'm in a space of dancing and just moving, it puts me in that realm of pausing and reflecting. Okay. All right. I know I said that was my last question the last time. However, I feel um, the Holy Spirit is wanting me to ask you also, um, because you love to pause, because you love to reflect, right? Um, I've I've seen that Mm -hmm. a lot also in your liturgical dancing as well. You know, so um, um, where where does your passion for liturgical dancing come from? Like, you, you know, like, because you don't just dance with your body. You dance with your expressions. Like, I, I literally can sense what you are feeling, you know, or your thought process, even with the song playing while you're dancing. So um, where, where does that passion come from? It comes from Holy Spirit. Mm. You know, for me... Dancing in that forum, you're going to take me to that space, girl. (laughs) Um, It's an intimate space. You know, it's me dancing before my father. Uh, When I'm dancing in service, I'm not looking at the congregation or anyone. It's solely me dancing before the father in worship mode. That's it. And you did it. You made that tear go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I just, because I don't, I don't just want to leave this here and people think that you're just a dancer like anybody else. You know, God has set you apart to be, that's your ministry. You know, this is not just a business, yes. but to, this is marketplace ministry. Sila Dance Studio is marketplace ministry. Hey, honey, you looking beautiful still. Yes. <laughs> you know, however, there's a heart to it. There's a center to it. And that's where the connection with you and God because it's also a portion of you is liturgical dancing. So this is really ministry in your bones. I don't even want to say in the right. bones, it's in the marrow, you know, it's in, it's in the marrow of yeah. who you are. So, yeah. um, so again, how can people reach you to have their kids join or to join one of your private classes? Um, she also does um, weddings or any type of outside of classes that you want to learn. You know, she's also mobile. So by all means, you can contact the Simone Baldwin for um, your choreography, for your teaching your, your younger d- girls and, or boys want to pour into them. And also if you're an adult and want to learn how to dance as well. So how can they reach you, sis, again? Again, the number is 843-324-7222. My email address is Simone at SailorDanceStudioSC.com. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. You can message me and um, I'm really quick on getting back to you. My response time is pretty fast, I must say. And I just thank you guys in advance. Um, I I just want to also say to the parents, there is no studio without the parents. Yes. You know, I'm there. The students are there. 
but the parents, my stick and stay, we've been open since March of 2015. And um, the parents that have been there from day one, day two, and day 30, day 90, I'm just extremely grateful. Thank you. You know who you are. I don't want to call out all the parents' names because I don't want, I just don't want to do that. Yeah. But you know my heart. I, I thank you privately and I'm, I'm thanking you now publicly. There is no studio without you and your support is tremendous. And I'm solely grateful because I dreamed as a little girl. I'm living out that vision now. And just to see the little babies grow and develop, it's helping me really walk in my purpose and know that this is, I'm walking in my purpose. Thank you so much. Thank you for your obedience. Thank you for walking into your purpose. And I'm looking forward to still be a witness to what God is continuing to do for you. This is your fourth season. I and count. again, I, I'm telling you, it's fourth season and it's about to, it's going to blow your mind because the fruition of the seeds that you've sown are, com are coming to fruition in this season. Hear the word of the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you, Moni. And I thank God for you. Thank you so much for catching us live here. Uh, you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be here with us. If this uh, message has blessed you, by all means, please hit that share button and also invite some girlfriends. If you're in the um, uh, Charleston area, the Goose Creek Monks Corner or Charleston area, and you're looking for a place where you want your children to be poured into and be poured into the kingdom way, by all means, hit up Sila Dance Studio. Simone is ready and willing to pour into your children and become part of your village as well. If you love Restoration from Within and Temple Talk Thursdays, come on over every Thursday, 1230 Eastern Standard Time. By all means, we want you here. We want to share some things. If there's a show, ladies, if there's a show that you want to happen, by all means, let me know. I love y'all to life. Please go ahead and like Stila Dance Studio on her Facebook page or Instagram or like our page at Restoration from Within at Instagram or Facebook. And we love you to life. And thank you for joining us today. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. I love you, Kat. I love you too, Mommy.